Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Do Ciebie przyszli, Boże nasz, przed Twej ołtarze, Panie, tęsknoty serca nasze znasz, więc przejmy to błaganie. Po dziwny proczu polski lud, błogosław nas, Bogosław Boże true. <clears throat> we ask thee not for bliss in life, nor golden treasures splendor, but that we enter in the strife, Christ's kingdom to engender. Lift up from sin thy people, Lord, and strengthen us, O Father, bless our toil, and grant us faith, sustain our strength, as for thy course we struggle, and when we falter, punish us, True God and righteous leader, and neat thy banner, gather us. Renew us, Lord, O Father, bless our toil. Under thy cross we stand prepared to serve thee with devotion. Be it with sweat of blood or tears, or humble resignation. For we thy people are, O Lord. Save us, O God, O Father, bless our toil. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, all those who are with us virtually this day. Today, we keep the memory and commemorate Blessed Franciszek Hodor, the organizer of the Polish National Catholic Church. Today's Holy Mass is offered for the intention of our parish's evangelistic efforts, those things that Blessed Francis Hodor was so concerned about, the growth of his people in knowledge and love of God, the growth of his people in coming together to worship and have fellowship. And so we endeavor and we struggle to invite others into this fellowship, into this worship, and ask God to be fruitful to us in those efforts. Holy Mass will be in the traditional rite found on page 15 of your pew missal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go to the altar of God, to God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now pause to confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now take a moment to complete your examination of conscience, confessing your sins privately to God and seeking his forgiveness. And recall their sinfulness and seeking reconciliation with God and each other Let's now recite the first form of the Confidior, found on page 16. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, 
who knows the innermost secrets of my heart, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. In your presence, O God, I earnestly repent of all my sins, and I am truly sorry that I have offended you. Most loving Father, have mercy on me and forgive my sins. I resolve to amend my life, to improve and sanctify it, that I may become worthy to serve you faithfully all the days of my life. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. As an act of penance for our sinfulness, let's offer up a Hail Mary this evening before we go to bed for the intention of our parish evangelistic efforts and for God's abundant blessings on this Polish National Catholic Church. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you with his authority vested in me. I absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you'll again renew us, and your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Holy Ones of the Most High shall receive the kingship to possess it forever and ever. Sing praise to the Lord, you, his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Holy Ones of the Most High shall receive the kingship. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, your love encompasses the world. Let the prayers of blessed Francisca Codor ever be a source of joy for us. May we imitate his example so that when we are summoned, we may come readily and eagerly into your presence. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now be attentive to the Lord's word. Our first reading on this commemoration of Blessed Francis Hoder is taken from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you, and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our responsorial psalm, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. 
I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy <coughs> and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from his distress, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Our epistle for this commemoration of Blessed Francis Hodor is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise, and God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong, and God chose the lowly and the despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Please rise for the tract. Awesome is God in his holy place, the God of Israel, who gives power and strength to his people. Cleanse my heart, my lips, almighty God, as you cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with the burning coal and your mercy. Cleanse me, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. <coughs> Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each one according to his conduct. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ.
Holy Spirit, come inspire us. Send your sevenfold gift upon us. As we hear your word most solemn, teach our hearts to know your wisdom. As we hear your word most solemn, teach our hearts to know your wisdom. Turn to my eyes, I think, with the fire of thy love. For the Son of Man will come with his angels in the Father's glory, and then he will repay each one according to his conduct. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is an awesome celebration within the life of our church. 69 years ago today, Blessed Franciszek Hodor entered into eternal life and met his master, his God, his heavenly father, and rejoiced, and rejoiced. And the father said unto him, Come on to me, Francis, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in little. Come and share in my glory. We are so blessed in this holy church to follow in the footsteps of Blessed Franciszek Hodor. For he was a man of resolute, resolute purpose. His purpose was the raising up of a people that St. Paul describes so vividly, a people who were not powerful, a people who were not of noble birth, a people the world considered to be foolish and stupid, a people who were only good for their physical labor. God chose the weak to shame the strong. God chose the weak to stand against imperialism, Imperialism in the church. God chose the weak to stand against those in regal robes and wearing crowns on their heads to show what life in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is truly about. He took those who counted for nothing to reduce those who are something so that no human being, no human being might boast before God. Blessed Franciszek Hodor saw to the education of the people God had called into the Holy Church the true, the pristine, apostolic, and holy church of the first centuries. We are indeed that pristine Catholic church created by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we are true to its mission to raise up the lowly and the neglected, those thought nothing of, to the glory of God. Our mission continues in the model given us from the very first days of the Holy Church and which Blessed Franciszek Hodor recaptured for us to raise people up, not to walk in somberness and sorrow, but to rejoice to go forward in joy amidst life's happinesses and life's struggles, resolute and true to the message of our Lord and Savior, walking in the gospel way. 
Blessed Franciscan Hodor saw the innate dignity of each and every person created in God's image and saw how they were denigrated, saw how they were treated, saw how they were just made slaves for those who had power and who were mocked by those in robes and crowns. And he said, no more. No more. God's given innate dignity, the image of God in each and every one of us must be upheld, must be supported, and must grow. Yes, we are to take away the strength from the strong and give it to the weak. We have righteousness. We have sanctification. We have redemption by the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And when he returns and comes in glory, blessed Franciszek Hodor will be there with all of the angels and the saints to welcome us into God's everlasting kingdom that beautiful place described so well in Revelation. There will be no more mourning, no more sorrow, no more tears. We will indeed rejoice and be one with our Lord and Savior and his heavenly Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. The Lord loves those that hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Receive, Father Almighty and Eternal God, this immaculate host, which I, your unworthy servant, offer to you my living and true God, for my countless offenses and omissions, for all present here, for our nation, as well as for all faithful Christians, living and dead, and for all humanity. May it be for us a means to salvation and everlasting life. Lord God, you endued us with great dignity and worthiness. Through Jesus Christ, you exalted, renewed, and sanctified us. Through the mingling of this wine and water, may we worthily partake of this holy oblation in which our Savior gives himself as food for the world and in deepest truth unites himself with us. We offer you, Lord, the cup of salvation. In your mercy, look upon your faithful people and accept this oblation of praise, petition, and adoration for our salvation and for that of the whole world. Lord, receive us who bow before you in contrition and humility and grant that this sacrifice be so offered in your sight as to be pleasing to you, Lord God. Come, sanctify our almighty, eternal God, and bless this sacrifice prepared for the glory of your holy name. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling of all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, men in whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes, but as for me, I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. 
my foot stands on level ground in the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints that may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they, whose memory we honor on earth, intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands, from the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Lord our God, at the intercession of blessed Franciszek Hodor, may our gifts now offered in this holy rite cleanse and protect us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Today we celebrate the memory of blessed Franciszek Hodor, who throughout life proclaimed your glory by walking worthily in the footsteps of Jesus, loving you and his neighbor and abounding in faith and good works. Following the example of blessed Franciszek Hodor, may we, may we strengthen our faith live holier lives, and practice greater charity, so that one day we may be united with you in your heavenly kingdom. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Osana in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Bernard, our bishop, and all who profess the true, orthodox, and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, Lord, especially all the members of the Polish National Catholic Church, as well as all the members of our parish, engage in evangelistic efforts, that those efforts may bear great fruit. And all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body, 
and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice, an immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, so that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants. And on this day, remember all of the members, all of the parishioners within the Holy Polish National Catholic Church, within the Union of Scranton, all those who strive and endeavor and have endeavored to live up to the example of blessed Franciszek Hodor and have passed on to eternal life, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and sleep and peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with the holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name, their hearts always open to justice and mercy, with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, and in him, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. 
instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world by your holy body and blood. Free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation, though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament. May it become... Through your loving kindness, may it become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return to the Lord for all the graces he has given me? I will take the chalice of salvation. I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise I will call upon the Lord, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters who are with us virtually today, we now join with you in this prayer of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, 
I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, what we receive with our lips, may we understand with our minds. And may this temporal gift become for us an everlasting healing. May your body, which I have received, and your blood, which I have drunk, cling to my innermost being, and grant that no sin remain in me, whom these holy sacraments have nourished, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Pójdź do Jezusa, dziś jeszcze czas. Usłysz głos Jego, nie bądź tak głas. Wszak On tak bardzo miłuje nas. Woła tak słodko, pójdź. Ujrzem widok piękny jak cud, gdy zwróciwszy grzechu złość i brud. Kruczymy wreszcie niebiański gród, Jezu przychodzę już. Ujrzem widok piękny jak cud, gdy zwróciwszy grzechu złość i brud, wkróczymy wreszcie niebiański gród. Jezu, przychodzę już. But all his holy ones were in his hand. They followed at his feet, and he bore them up on his pinions. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have given eternal life to your servant, blessed Franciszek Hodor, encouraged by your faithfulness May we who have received the sacrament of the altar ever rejoice in the pledge of our salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered in the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy, may it be effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Till a lot me chio panye, suj me vier non vi penyali, shvikus voinze shvitzaranye, wine suknye voli, targali, wine suknye voli, targali. O bodayem vier ni bili. O bodai ten stan der schwente has dos gone u nashek fili. Fdusche ser zu biros piente, dusche ser zu biros piente. Neod push jainas, neod push jainas, Jesu neod push jainas. Tish povjedjau, žena žemi, Jezu stavit na samemi. Tvoje srce čuo v njebje, Jak nam čenčko žič bez čebje, ne odpuščaj nas, ne odpuščaj nas. Jezu, ne odpuščaj nas. Gdje počev hevn mi znađejme, gdje vizavo uko ime, V srcu tvojem tilko panje i počeha i vetranje. Lord, forsake us not. Lord, forsake us not. Jesus, Lord, forsake us not. Grant us, Lord, this benediction without limit or restriction. From your presence now abiding, banish every wall dividing.